Colossal Order has finally announced City Skylines 2. Wait. No, it's just another DLC. Uh, okay. I think I have a pretty unpopular opinion with this new DLC, so stick around to find out what that opinion is. Before we dive into that, let's actually take a look at what this DLC has to offer. I'm going to do my best to spot things that you may not have noticed when watching the trailer. The trailer starts off by showing how hectic the game is with traffic. It's about 3 seconds in that the new content is shown. Under the bridge you can see one of the pedestrian paths underneath the bridge as well as new buildings. Farther in the background you can see another pedestrian path with trees down the middle. This next scene it looks like everything in the shot is brand new content. All the buildings look like new assets as well as all the paths. You can see at the top a new plaza as well as grass lined pedestrian roads to the right of it. Looking at this scene it doesn't look like any of the trees are new. There's a lot to unpack in this scene. It appears this whole area is a pedestrian utopia but you get your first glimpse of bus only roads in the distance. There are a lot of colorful buildings in this area. I know they are trying to show off some of the new assets and buildings, but I hope we aren't stuck with this style of building on these pedestrian roads. In the center you can see a new plaza that has more of an artistic style to it. Here we can see one of the new plazas that's geared more towards art. We get a close up look at this strange artistic plaza. We also see bus roads in this shot as well. Off to the right, which is very hard to see, it looks like flower beds, so hopefully we will get more flower options for our cities, hopefully, maybe, possibly? These scenes look really nice, but where are all the pedestrians? For this DLC being focused on pedestrians, these shots sure lack the pedestrians that they're trying to focus on. This also mentions market squares. When they say that, I hope they don't mean a unique building that you place down and forget about. I want to actually dive in deep and meticulously detail my market square. Knowing City Skylines is more likely going to be an asset of some kind. This shot right here is the money shot in my opinion. It shows that you can use these pedestrian roads as crosswalks. I'm assuming it's going to work like a normal road where you create an intersection, but it looks like this. In the bottom right you can see parking lots and that doesn't look like it's part of a building. That looks like an asset that we will be able to plop down, which will be a huge game changer if that's the case. The bottom left shows a sunken plaza or market of some sort. That would be a very interesting asset to have and would be even more interesting if I could connect the sunken metro plaza to this and have them connected. And of course, we see bus only roads, which is a nice addition to the game. The pedestrian zones are essentially new policies that you can activate within your districts. One of the new policies is slow driving, which makes all roads in this pedestrian zone, except highways, get a speed limit of 20 miles per hour. There's also a sugar ban, which increases the average lifespan of citizens in the pedestrian zone, but decreases their happiness a little bit. And there's street music which increases happiness and noise pollution in pedestrian commercial zones. I also found out some information on the district specialization which is adding three new districts. And those districts are offices, high density residential, and high density commercial. And that is the end of the trailer that was released. My honest opinion is that this DLC feels small. But I'm holding out hope that they didn't tell us everything. This DLC will be available for $14.99 US dollars when it is available. No release date has been announced yet, and I tried searching for one by inspecting the code of the websites, but I wasn't able to find anything that was relevant. So I can't spoil when this DLC will be released. If what they showed is all that we get, I will be sorely disappointed. From what I've seen, this DLC feels like a $10 DLC at best. Hopefully this DLC won't be disappointing and we'll actually have a ton of new content to explore when it comes out. Don't leave yet, we still have more DLC to explore. We have two new content creator packs as well as two new radio stations. I won't dive too much into the radio station, but they are the Shoreline Radio and the Paradise Radio packs. I'm not too interested in the radio pack, so I'll leave that up to you to determine if it's worth getting or not. On top of the new DLC and radio stations, we have two new content creator packs. The first one I'll cover is the Mid-Century Modern Creator Pack, which adds a ton of residentials from the 1960s. We get a new district style for these residential homes, which adds 147 residential growable buildings, three new hotels, two new restaurants, more than 30 additional decorative pieces such as fences, furniture, and yard decorations, as well as carports, which is essentially covered parking lots. 
This content creator pack is at the top of my list to add some character to my city by having historical areas with older style modern homes. The second content creator pack is the Seaside Resorts Creator Pack. This creator pack adds a ton of older style buildings based on historical landmarks from the early 1900s around the United States. This pack also comes with a new library, police station, and fire station to fit the theme of this pack. There's also an older style train station to go along with this. This pack isn't as large as the mid-century modern pack, but it also contains boulevards and piers to make your waterfronts more lively. This pack is also at the top of my list to give my city even more historical areas with these classic 1900 style buildings. Let me know what you think of these new DLCs. In my opinion, I'm excited for the content creator packs, but I'm not nearly as excited for the new DLC as it doesn't feel like a complete DLC from what they've shown. If you enjoyed what you saw, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with more amazing content in the future. I know you will find my newest city to be very enjoyable to watch, and it won't take much of your time, so click on screen to start watching me build the city of Bridgerton.